Alrighty, we are carrying on with hardware and we are looking at input and output devices. In the previous video, we looked at input devices. So in this video, we're going to look at output devices, okay? Devices that provide output. So what is an output device? Anything that provides feedback or confirmation or information on the results of the input. I hope that makes sense, okay? So something that has happened because of input or commands that have been given to a computer, the output of that is the output. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure this out. Let's have a look, okay, then you'll understand. So one of the main ones that we are very well connected to, audio, audio output. And I know you guys, you walk around with these little things like stuck in your ears the whole time and you're like, hey, I'm connected to the audio world. Okay, those are actually not good for your ears. Do a little bit of research, guys. Okay, but anyway, oh, there they are. Uh, I don't know what you call them, ear pods, earbuds. Anyway, beans, ear beans. So guys, your audio output. Okay, so we have various types of audio output. Output that is audible. Anything that is uh, a feedback relating to audio. So like when you click on something on your computer and it's the wrong thing or you get a little beep noise. When you walk through security and it detects uh, a gun, you know, that you carry. That's a bad example. And it, <laughs> it sets off an alarm and the alarm goes, woo, woo, woo. Okay, yes, woo, 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 just like that. And uh, yeah, that's audio output. Okay, moving on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, of course, the typical one, video output, visual output. Okay, like you're looking at right now. You could be using a phone, a tablet, a laptop, a desktop. You could be using any one of these devices right now looking at this video, and that is video output. Okay, there you can see this is an example of a monitor, and we actually need some sort of visual output to see what's going on. At the moment, you are seeing the result of your program or your application processing all of this video data and putting it onto your screen so there we go so we have a monitor over there here's another one okay it's just a phone screen the phone screen is a way of providing output for you so you can see what is happening when you tap on things on your phone and smart watches or smart devices okay so smart watch face again I don't have one of these this is uh, that's mine over there and you can see that it also has an output in terms of visual so you can see what is going on with your heart rate and all that jazz. Okay, so there we go, all kinds of screen. Tablet screens as well, right? Sorry, that was very fast. Tablet screens. Okay, cool. Here's another form of output, one that is very, very common and of course still very popular today. Your printer, your standard good old printer. Taking something that is digital and putting it onto paper, something that is soft copy into hard copy format. So here you can see we have an example. This is an inkjet printer, sprays ink, like little micro dots onto the page. That's how ink jets work. This one's pretty cool. This is a laser jet. Oh, you know what? I know I just said laser jet. Just ignore that. It's a laser printer. Here we have a super cool printer. This looks like the, the daddy printer of all of them. Like, why, why is this one a little bit different to the other two? Well, this is a multifunction printer. Oh, yeah. Multifunction. In other words, what else can it do besides print? Okay, it can print, obviously. It can copy, it can make photocopies of stuff, it can scan stuff into your computer, and you can send faxes if you still live in the, uh, the Middle Ages and you use faxes. Yeah. Okay, here's a cool new one. I don't know if you recognize this. Do any of you have one of these at home yet? They're still quite new at the time of making this video, but it's an ink tank printer. So it's kind of like your ink jets, okay? That's the same stuff. It also sprays ink onto the page. However, instead of using cartridges, it uses these special little reservoirs of ink that you could just keep filling up. So actually very, very handy. Here's a cool looking machine from 1800 something. No, I'm just kidding. It's a fax machine, guys. It's a fax machine. So what does a fax machine actually do? Okay, we still use them today, believe it or not. Uh, well, let me explain what it does. So you take a piece of paper and you've got a whole lot of writing on the paper and you'd like to send that to someone somewhere else in the world via fax. You put it inside the top there. It scans it in. Okay, you dial someone. You got to dial in a phone number. Normally, it's another fax machine. So you dial a fax machine. A connection is established. 
and then the scanning that took place all that information gets converted into analog information not digital and it then sends all that information to the other receiving device the device on the other side prints out a page with that information on so it's kind of like you sent a piece of paper around the world to somebody else okay it's like they've never heard of email and photos I don't know but anyway that's what a fax machine does okay check it out in the book that I wrote for you guys okay oh this is cool now I put three dots there because I want you to go find out what this is what kind of printer is this it's a very special printer and there's another one okay have a look at the kind of paper that it uses it's got like these holes along the sides okay cool and that's the kind of paper that it uses okay I want you to go find out what that is and I will at the end of the video I'll tell you what it is all right another form of output also very common data projector a digital data projector it takes a uh, feedback or input it takes feedback input from a device like a computer or a, a laptop or even a tablet or a mobile phone if it's a fancy one and it then projects that information onto a big screen or a wall or any anywhere actually and that just helps like a lot of people to see the same thing at the same time instead of everybody like gathered around your monitor like everybody make space we can't see what's going on they can actually look at a wall or a, or a uh, screen okay and it's projecting nice and big and everybody in the audience can see what you are showing on your screen data projectors are very very handy this is on my dream list okay so if you ever want to buy me a present get me one of these it's a micro projector it's like a little mini one okay they're great really really great I love them so check them out they're very cool same thing this is pretty cool okay this is also another form of output and this is a uh, well let me a virtual laser projected keyboard now what happens is the laser beam shoots out onto a platform or surface okay and you type on this little surface now what's happening is actually when your finger goes for like the letter K uh, you block off the stream the laser beam that is projecting to K and so it detects that and it knows that because of the position of your finger and what you've blocked out it's gonna be K so you can have a keyboard pretty much anywhere that you want so that is pretty cool have just on your table I like that okay cool Ooh, here's a nice one here this is a good example I mean that guy looks really happy I mean you, he could have smiled or something anyway this is it's super cool there, there are two examples here of input and output okay this is an exoskeleton okay a mechanical or robotic exoskeleton and what it does is it enhances your movements so when you move your arm it moves according to the movement of your arm the nice thing about this is it increases your power exponentially so you like like seriously like Iron Man okay like this is what Iron Man is wearing just not that big and uh, an exoskeleton basically the input is you you are the input and the output is the movement and all the mechanics involved that create the movement and then you can pick up boxes that normally you wouldn't be able to pick up by yourself or move things that you couldn't move by yourself this actually enhances your uh, strength and the capacity of what you're able to do so that's an exoskeleton super super cool Have a great day. Did I say have a great day? I'm gonna yeah. Have a great day.